Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Reckon Accounts Desktop and Single Touch Payroll webinar. My name is Andrea. I will be presenting today's webinar, which will run for approximately 45 minutes, um, including questions at the end. Um, before I get started, I will just run through a few housekeeping rules. So um, just to get started as a disclaimer, so the contents of this webinar is of general nature and guidance only. Reckon does not provide professional or taxation advice. Um, viewers need to consult with a professional advisor for advice on their specific circumstances. Now for the webinar, you'll notice that your microphones have been muted um, and I will be uh, presenting in today's webinar. However, if you need to ask a question, please go to slido.com and enter in the event code RKN and we'll answer all the questions at the end of this presentation. So that website for questions is slido.com, enter in the event code RKN and um, we'll answer your questions at the end. So when you're on slido.com and you've entered in the event code RKN, you can type in your question and then hit send. If you find that another attendee has asked the same question, you can hit the like button or a voting button so that we're not repeating the same questions. Um, you'll notice that you can also minimize your webinar panel. So there's a red arrow on your webinar control panel. Um, if you want to have a full screen um, of what this webinar presentation is all about. And in terms of the recording, so if you want access to the recording for your reference, um, we can send you a link to the recording within one day after this webinar session. Um, and we'll have all our webinar recordings on our YouTube channel. So if you go to youtube.com and you type in Reckon, um, you'll be able to find our YouTube channel. Otherwise, you can go straight to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Reckon LTD. Okay, so for this webinar, this is basically um, what we'll go through. Um, so it's basically showing you how to sign up for GovConnect STP and setting up your multi-factor authentication. We'll show you the key information to prepare your company file, how to share your Reckon GovConnect with other users, where to find your software ID and how to register this to the ATO, some common error messages that you may come across and how to fix it, um, and I'll show you where to find some useful single touch payroll resources. So to be ready for single touch payroll, um, here are a few key points or a bit of a checklist um, before you get started for single touch payroll. So um, obviously throughout this webinar, I will go through um, an in-depth step-by-step step process, um, but um, this is just a holistic picture to get ready for single touch payroll. So just ensure that you have signed up to Reckon GovConnect STP. Um, if you haven't done so already, just ensure you have upgraded to either Reckon Accounts Hosted 2018 version or Reckon Accounts Desktop 2018 um, or later um, so that you'll be able to enable the single touch payroll functionality. Um, just ensure you've also registered your GovConnect software ID to the ATO and it's just a matter of learning how to export the file from Reckon Accounts Desktop and um, uploading it to GovConnect STP. Okay, so um, now Single Touch Payroll um, is basically compulsory for all businesses with employees. So starting from 1st of July this year, um, Single Touch Payroll will apply for all businesses. So um, some of you may have recalled from last year that um, any businesses with 20 or more employees were required to report. It is now just anyone with um, any um, more than one employee within the business. So you will now be required to report through single touch payroll. Um, 
it is voluntary if you want to start beforehand, but if you do do that, you'll need to consistently um, report every time you do a pay run. So one thing to note is you don't need to change the frequency of your pay run. It's just a matter of um, reporting every time you do a pay run for your employees. Okay, so um, just starting from the basics. So what is Reckon GovConnect STP? So it's our platform that we use um, or that you use to submit all the payroll information um, with Reckon software only. So that's only Reckon software. So this platform is used to review all this um, payroll information um, from the Reckon software and submitting it to the ATO so that you can comply with a single touch payroll. So with Reckon GovConnect STP, so you do require a Reckon portal account and that Reckon Portal account is free to use for everyone. So just to reiterate again, um, you do require a Reckon Portal account, um, no matter which Reckon product you use. So um, if you are using Reckon Accounts Desktop, you will need to sign up to Reckon um, Portal account and it is free to use for everyone. So to sign up to the Reckon Portal, um, the website is portal.reckon.com um, and then you'll be to you'll be able to sign up um, from that website. And Reckon GovConnect is its own individual product um, and it opens independently. So I guess the whole purpose of Reckon GovConnect is so that um, just say for example, an accountant or bookkeeper can manage all um, various Reckon um, payroll products within the single platform. So this is basically what our Reckon single touch payroll process looks like. Um, so I'll take you through the steps in depth. So the first step is creating a GovConnect STP account. The next step is enabling and configuring for STP in your company file. Then it's completing the payroll and exporting the STP file. And then it's reviewing and submitting in GovConnect to the ATO. So in terms of the STP process, the first and the second step is um, just a matter of setting up the STP account. And then once you've set, set up um, your STP, moving forward from each pay run, you'll just need to complete the pay run, export the file, and then um, submit through GovConnect, but um, I'll go through this in a in more in-depth process. So let's start with the um, first step. So the first step is creating a GovConnect STP account and setting up your MFA, which is your multi-factor authentication. So to sign up to Reckon GovConnect portal, um, as I've mentioned earlier, you'll need to sign up to the Reckon portal and that website is portal.reckon.com. If you are a new user, you can sign in using your Gmail address or um, your Microsoft um, email address. So whether you use Outlook or Office 365, um, you can do the single sign on process where you just sign in with um, that particular email address. Otherwise, when you click on register for free, um, you can nominate which email address you want um, for the Reckon portal. If you're an existing user, um, say for example, you have used Reckon 1 before or Reckon Cloud Pause, um, you can just use your existing login details. So once you log into the Reckon portal, <clears throat> you've got the Reckon portal dashboard in front of you. So there are two ways you can access Reckon GovConnect. On the left-hand side, you have the menu of Reckon GovConnect. Otherwise, on the top right, you can click on Add Product and then you select Reckon GovConnect. So the first time when you are using Reckon GovConnect in the Reckon portal, it will prompt you to set up your multi-factor authentication and then the um, following message will appear saying that um, you haven't enabled your multi-factor authentication. 
So why would you need an um, MFA, which is multi-factor authentication? So it is a security requirement um, from the ATO, so therefore it is mandatory. So with MFA, um, the whole idea is, is just ensuring that it's secure for each user. So um, MFA is at a user level, so you shouldn't be able, you shouldn't be sharing your MFA code with other people. Um, if you do have two or more people managing the STP, um, what I'll show you later on is that you can actually share the STP file with other users, so you can both manage it at the same time. With MFA, so you can't use MFA on both PC and smartphone at the same time. It just needs to be one or the other. Um, we normally recommend to use your phone. And if you are using the Authenticator app, um, you just need to ensure that you don't delete it until you have revoked it um, on the Reckon portal. So these are the three options that you can use for MFA, but you'll need to only choose one of these following options. So you can choose SMS text feature, um, you can use the Google Authenticator app on your smartphone. If you don't have a mobile or you don't want to use your mobile, you can use the Google Authenticator um, Chrome extension using Google Chrome. So setting up MFA via SMS text feature, I'll go through step by step. So when you're setting up MFA, um, this is the first message that will appear when you're setting up your MFA. It will get you to enter in your mobile number and then you prompt to send the code and then it will send you a six digit code um, for you to enter. So again, this is just setting up your MFA. Um, and then when you're moving forward, logging into Reckon Gov Connect, you can just, um, it'll just send you the six digit code. If you don't want to use the SMS text feature, um, there's an option of, I want to use Google Authenticator instead. So, as I've mentioned earlier, there's two ways of using Google Authenticator. So if you want to use it on your smartphone, the first step is to install Google Authenticator app on your phone, um, whether you use Android or iPhone. Once you launch the app, you can scan the QR code. And when you scan the QR code, it'll generate a six digit um, code that you need to put. Um, in step three and verify. If you want to use MFA using Google Authenticator on Google Chrome, um, you'll need to install um, Authenticator on your PC. So it will act as a, um, a Chrome extension when you're using Google Chrome. So on Google, you can type in Chrome's web store and search for if Authenticator and install um, that app extension. So what it looks like is once you've installed it, um, the Authenticator app will show on your Google Chrome and it shows up as like a um, QR code symbol. So when you are uh, prompted to set up your MFA, um, you click on the QR sim symbol on Google Chrome and then scan um, your QR code. So you click on the QR symbol and then scan the um, QR code and what will happen is Authenticator will generate a six digit code in there and then you enter in the six digit code. So that will basically enable your multi-factor authentication um, of those three ways. So again, you need to just choose one of these three options to what suits you. Once MFA is enabled, the next step is setting up your recovery pin. So why would you need to set up a recovery pin? It's basically if something happens to um, your MFA device, so whether you lost or broken your phone, um, what you can do is you can revoke the access um, securely on the Reckon portal and it'll prompt you to set up your recovery pin. 
So to set up your recovery pin, there's two options. You can either generate a secure recovery pin. So basically, Reckon will generate a six digit code for you. Otherwise, you can create your own um, recovery pin, um, just ensuring that you keep it safe somewhere else to remember it. Okay, so once you have MFA enabled, um, as I've said earlier, when you, once you keep logging into uh, Reckon Portal and um, you launch Reckon Gov Connect, it'll just prompt you to enter in the MFA code, um, whether it's text or the Google Authenticator applications, um, and then you enter in your six digit code. So once you're on the Reckon portal and you've set up your MFA, you can now set up um, single touch payroll. So basically you'll need to click on get started, enter in your company's ABN and branch number if it is applicable, it's not always applicable for everyone. So you enter in your ABN and then it will generate your um, legal company name. So this legal company name will match with what's on the ABN register. So once you've entered your ABN, you click on verify and then the legal company name will generate. Once that's generated, you can now submit and then you select the product that um, you need to submit for a single touch payroll. So say for example, um, you are using Reckon Accounts Desktop, you select Reckon Accounts Desktop and save your settings. Once you've selected the Reckon product for single touch payroll, your GovConnect STP is now set up. So what you see in front of you here is a sample screenshot. If all products were selected, um, if you are using Reckon Accounts Desktop, you'll only have the Reckon Accounts Desktop um, product here. Now, um, to find your software ID, so um, just to let you know, for those who don't already, um, so you need to register your software ID to the ATO, um, basically to give permission to, from the, rec sorry, let me say that again. Um, so to give permission that you're submitting your single touch payroll using Reckon software. So to find your software ID, um, click on company and advisor information on the top right. And then um, it'll have all the company information and the software ID. So there's two ways you can register your software ID to the ATO. You can call the ATO on 1300 852 232 and then you provide them with the software ID. Otherwise, you can um, use the ATO Access Manager if you do have um, access to the Access Manager and basically um, register your software ID online using the ATO Access Manager. So we do have a, um, a useful step-by-step -step guide online. So I definitely recommend going there if you want a step-by-step -step process on how to register your software ID using the ATO Access Manager. Um, so that website is help.reckon.com and then search for single touch payroll. So the website again is um, help.reckon.com. So as I've mentioned earlier, um, once you have Reckon Gov Connect set up, you can share your STP entity um, with other users. So an STP entity is anything you've um, registered to, with in Reckon Gov Connect. So this is um, white tile here you can see in front of you is what we call an STP entity. So you can actually share that STP entity with your accountant, bookkeeper or staff. If you're an accountant or bookkeeper, you just need to get your client to share um, their STP entity with you. And it'll be under the shared with me tab. So to share your STP entity, what you'll need to do is click on the three dots, share with user, and then type in um, the username, email, sorry, type in the username or email address and then save. 
Once it's saved, it will successfully share with the other user. Sorry, it will share with the other user at this stage. So um, for the STP entities that have been shared with you, there's a shared with me tab and that will show all the shared STP entities with you. If you want to remove um, a user from the STP, so you go to the share with the user again and it'll bring you to the manage sharing window and then you click on the bin icon to remove that user. Okay, so where we're at in the Reckon STP process, we have now created a GovConnect STP account. So now what we need to do is enable and configure for STP in your company file. So within Reckon Accounts desktop, you first need to enable your STP um, functionality. So if you go to edit then preferences, select payroll and employees, and then ensure you go to the company preferences tab, and then you'll need to in, um, enable the single touch payroll um, functionality. So some things that you need to check um, within the software before you submit it to the ATO, just ensure that you've got the correct company information. So when you go to um, company, then company information, just ensure that you have the correct legal name and the legal address and ensure that it matches up to what's on the ABN reg register. Um, you also need to check and complete that you've got the correct com com uh, sorry, employee information. So when you're in the employee center, you can right click the employee, then um, select edit employee. I'll go through the first tab, which is personal information. So just checking that you've got the correct um, employee information. If you go to um, address and contact, um, just ensuring that you've got the correct contact details for your um, employee. Um, you can put an email address for your employee, but it's not um, compulsory. If you change tabs to the employment information, so just ensuring that you have an employee number um, allocated to each employee, and this employee number can be alpha or numeric. Adjust allowances tax tracking type. So basically the ATO has um, made it compulsory as part of, uh, as part of single touch payroll to differentiate between the different allowance types. So if you go to lists and then payroll item lists, um, you can select items where tax tracking is allowance and then you follow the prompts um, until you get to the tax tracking type and then adjust the allowances type. So it's basically differentiating um, between the allowances if your employee has allowances. If they don't, um, then you don't need to worry about that. Okay, so where we're at in the um, STP process, so we have created um, an, a GovConnect STP account, we've enabled STP in the company file, now it's just a matter of completing the pay run and exporting the STP file. So how to um, ex complete the pay run and um, export the file? So in Reckon Accounts Desktop, go to Employees, and select process single touch payroll. Choose the pay run, tick the employees and then lodge. So that's considered as a normal pay event. So normal pay event is just the pay reporting type that you're submitting to the ATO. You'll notice that in Reckon Accounts Desktop, there is um, other options. So there's full file replacement, update event and final pay event. So I'll get through those terms in a moment. So if you're doing a normal pay run and a pay event, it's just choosing the pay run, ticking the employees, and then selecting lodge. However, if you need to um, use the other options, as I've explained earlier, whether it's full file replacement, update event, or final pay event. So what that means is a full file replacement is if there's corrupt data um, when you export the file or there's just too many errors um, within the file 
when you um, are submitting STP, you can um, submit a full file replacement. An update event is if you have submitted STP to the ATO, but you need to make a small change within the pay run, you can um, select update pay event. Final pay event is if you're um, the last pay reported for employees. So that basically means is when it's the end of financial year, um, you can select final pay event. In case of a terminated, terminated employee, um, what happens is when you do the termination payment, it will automatically mark it as a final pay event for the employee. So you can include that employee in the normal pay event, so you don't need to do a separate submission. And then when you're in GovConnect, um, STP portal, you can check that the pay has been marked as final. Okay, so once you've um, lodged, when you select the pay run and you lodge, you need to save the JSON file to your PC. So that JSON file is um, the file that has all the uh, payroll data in the file. And then it will prompt you to launch GovConnect STP. So now we're in the final step of the STP process where we open GovConnect STP and submit it to the ATO. So um, once you've saved that JSON file, um, you need to launch the Reckon portal. You log in, go to Reckon GovConnect, it'll prompt you to enter in your MFA and then enter in the six digit code. So what you'll need to do with Reckon Accounts Desktop is you'll need to upload the JSON file and then you can um, select the relevant report type. So whether it's a pay run or full file replacement or if you're updating a previously completed ATO submission. Um, usually if it's just a normal pay event, just select the first option, which is new pay run. And then, sorry, and then you submit, uh, you um, select the JSON file that you've saved on your PC, and then all the information um, will be imported in GovConnect STP. So you do have the option to submit. Otherwise, if you want to check the information first before submitting, um, you can click on Detail, and it'll bring up the list of employees and the totals of that pay run. And then you can drill down further of each employee by clicking on detail next to the employee and it'll give you the information of that um, individual employee's pay. Um, if you go back, you can submit all and then that will submit the single touch payroll to the ATO. Then it will um, get you to confirm, do an electronic signature to ensure that all the information is true and correct. And it has now submitted to the ATO. So it will show as success. Um, where it says here ATO status pending, um, it's basically being sent off to the ATO and they can take up to three, three days, I think three business days for them to um, acknowledge the um, submission of your STP. And now the STP process is finished. So what I'll go through now is the common errors that may happen when you do um, STP and how to fix it. So the first part is um, if you need to revoke MFA, as I've mentioned earlier, say for example, you've lost or broken your phone, you log into the Reckon portal, go to the profile on the top right, and under the multi-factor authentication section, you click on revoke. Once you click on revoke, it will get you to enter in the recovery pin, and then you submit. Other uh, messages that may happen when you're in Reckon Gov Connect may say that um, it says failed to save pay run event data. So what that means is um, the JSON file that you've exported from Reckon Accounts Desktop, it may have um, invalid characters in the data. So say for example, it may have um, weird characters or double quotation marks instead of single. Another um, 
common error message is instance payroll event payroll detail. So this message may occur when you're um, in Rec and Gov Connect. So what that means is that um, you've submitted a pay event file to the ATO, but when you've selected the report type, um, you've selected it as a new pay run or full file replacement when it should have been um, an updated event. So that's basically what it means. Another message that may happen is unable to create STP. So this is when you're um, registering your ABN um, to reckon GovConnect. So it may say unable to create a subscription with STP. So what that means is um, it basically means that another user may have registered your ABN on reckon GovConnect or um, when if you sign in with Google or Outlook, there may have been incomplete information. So um, what you need to do is you'll need to complete your full name on the Reckon portal. So when you've when you've logged into the Reckon portal, you go to profile, and then under my details, you can edit your details so that you put in your first name and last name. So that's if you're using the single sign-on process um, when you're logging in to the Reckon portal. Um, another common message that may happen is when you're using Google Authenticator and it says please type correct code, it just basically means that you're not in sync with Google. So how to fix that is if you're using an Android, go to Authenticator um, menu, then settings and time correct for codes. Um, if you're using iPhone, just um, put it, go to the device settings, general date and time and then it will sync up with Google. Another um, error message that may happen is invalid company information provided. So again, this is when you're on Reckon Gov Connect. So what that basically means is you'll need to go back to the company information on Reckon Accounts desktop. Um, so when you click on company and company information, just ensure that the legal name and legal address matches to what's on the ABN register. Also check um, the phone numbers, so just ensure that there's no brackets or spaces um, and it's in this format and also just check the branch number. That's only if it is applicable, um, if not don't worry about it. Another um, error message that may happen is it says a uh, pull request. So it says an error message, um, the, the request ID is valid, but the pull request is yet to be queued. So what that means is um, the ATO is experiencing extended processing times. So just, um, yeah, there might be a backlog with the ATO. So just check back later and the status would be updated. Another frequently asked question is how to edit company information on Rec and Gov Connect. So when you're on Rec and Gov Connect and you go to the company advisor information, you'll notice that you won't be able to edit the details here. Um, so what you need to do is you need to go back to Rec and Accounts and edit the company information and export the JSON file again. Um, once you've exported the, the JSON file, re-upload it to um, Reckon Gov Connect and then it'll update the company details. Um, we do have a lot of these um, common questions or common um, error messages that may happen. So make sure you go to our Reckon knowledge base, that's kb.reckon.com and search for STP. Otherwise, we do have some other useful single touch payroll resources. So um, we do have our Reckon Help Center, which is online, and it gives a step-by-step -step process on how to set up your single touch payroll on Reckon Accounts desktop. We do have a single touch payroll um, hub as well, and it will show um, frequently asked questions and upcoming and recorded webinars. If you need help with accounting or bookkeeping, we also have our um, Reckon Partner Network. So you can ac actually search for a partner near you. Um, so that's partnersearch.reckon.com. 
And as I've mentioned in the beginning of this webinar, we will have our, uh, sorry, a recording of this on our YouTube channel. So that's youtube.com forward slash reckon LTD um, if you need a copy of this recording. Okay, so we'll now head into questions. Um, for those who came a bit later in the session, you can ask questions on slido.com and enter in the event code RKN um, and then we can answer the questions for you. Okay, so we'll now go to Slido and answer some questions. I've got Luke here with me who will help me with the questions. Okay, so the first question is, can we get a copy of the slides? Um, yes, we can email you a copy of the slides. We do have um, a list of everyone's email addresses who registered to this webinar. Okay, so the next question is, can files be uploaded direct to ATO without going through the GovConnect? No, unfortunately, you have to sign up to the uh, Reckon portal and create an STP subscription through GovConnect. When I log into Reckon Portal, a message add a credit card to complete the registration process for this account. Is this required as only using GovConnect? No, so you don't need to put in a credit card. You can just ignore that message. GovConnect is completely free. So yeah, don't worry about that. Do we have to do a final pay at the end of the financial year or do we have, or, or only when an employee is terminated? Um, so there's going to be an additional functionality where it's going to allow you to do a final STP um, pay run where it includes every single employee who is paid for that financial year, including in terminated employees. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Um, yeah, it will allow you to do this. How does it know that a terminated person has a final pay or does this relate to entry and release dates on the personal screen? Um, yes, so if right now it is it's reading from the release date. Um, however, as I just mentioned, there is going to be additional functionality where it will um, allow you to do like a final pay event for your all the employees for that financial year, including terminated. Is there an issue with processing wages in advance uh, as I will be away on annual leave? Okay, so in this particular circumstance, you may need to um, share your STP tile with someone in your company because um, you can't lodge STP in advance. It needs to be done after your uh, after your employees have been physically paid. Someone has to upload that STP um, that STP uh, pay run to the ATO through GovConnect. If I start before end of financial year, do I need to do payment summaries for the current year? No, so if you start doing STP um, before the end of this financial year, you won't be required to do or give payment summaries for your employees. Uh, currently, the process, currently process STP in employees desktop, when will this appear? So I'm a little bit confused with this question. Uh, okay, so you're saying you're, you're processing STP and employees in the desktop version, I think. Um, so this is already function. This functionality is already in the 2018 release two and also 2019 release. Um, you may not have STP turned on. Just check in your preferences that it's being turned on. If you're still having issues, you may need to contact our technical support team. We'll be able to assist from there. And is there a time limit after doing the pay run and lodging the STP with the ATO? Um, so generally the ATO wants you to submit your STP after you've paid the employees. Um, there's no like real time limit. I think it needs to be in a timely fashion. So within one to two business days after you've processed your employees' pays. Um, if you do want further clarification, it's best to ask the ATO with that though. Thank you, Luke, for helping me out with these questions. Um, thank you, everyone, again, for joining us in this webinar. If you do have any future questions, please email us at training at um, and we'll, we'll be able to assist you. Again, um, we will have a copy of this recording on our YouTube channel. So it's youtube.com forward slash reckonltd.
Thank you again, everyone, for joining us today and have a great afternoon.